Hi, this is Brian Lange. I'm here to talk to you about girl-boy relationships. And right now I want to talk to you about this concept. It's the law of diminishing returns. Almost every Christian person, when they get into a relationship with someone, they say to themselves, I'm going to stay pure. I'm not going to be tempted into a sexual relationship, but I want to be pure. I want to be pure from my wedding day. I want to be pure to stay safe, both personally and also socially. Uh, the problem is the law of diminishing returns. And the scripture says in 1 Corinthians 7, 1, it's good for a man not to touch a woman. And it doesn't mean don't touch a woman. It means don't touch her in a sensual or a sexual way. And that has to do with the heart. Guys do not touch a woman because when you do, you know how it is when you first would like somebody, you were in sixth grade or seventh grade or whatever, tenth grade, and you held hands and it was such an amazing revelation that you got to touch a girl's hand and what a buzz that was just went right up and down your body, amazing. But after a while, holding hands doesn't do the same thing. It's like taking a drug or drinking a beer. You can't, you can't keep the same buzz with the same amount. So you've got to add to it. And then you are hugging and then you are kissing. And there is a line that you cross that you don't even know is there. But it's a physiological line that has to do with our libidos, etc. And when you cross it, then you enter into a temptation zone where you no longer have control of your body. And I'm saying that if you do not touch sensually, do not accept it. No, no, Joey, you cannot touch me. Oh, yeah, we like each other. I can hug you when I see you. But the hug is not going to be a hug. The hug is going to be a hug. You are special to me. But no, my body is mine, and I'm not letting you close to my castle. And I'm definitely not letting you in because this body belongs to God. And in that way, you will preserve the future of your own body, your own soul, but also the future of that relationship. Because we know the physical is connected to emotions. And we have the mind of Christ. God has called us to be led by His mind through life. And this will ensure that that will happen. Okay? God bless you. Great to talk with you.